Over the past decade, it certainly felt like Hollywood wanted to go the streaming route. That was the future for the entertainment industry. But then when COVID came around and people happened to be locked up in their houses for who knows how long, Hollywood decided, let's race to the top. Let's push this forward. Let's go all in on streaming. And for some of these companies, it's been a disaster so far. Clearly, not everybody has figured it out. But one of the more smaller streaming services that doesn't get talked about quite as much is Apple. Apple streaming service doesn't have nearly as many subscribers as something like Netflix or even Disney Plus, but it seems like they're a little more selective about what they put on there. They've got a lot of critically acclaimed shows that people say are really good, but it doesn't seem like they were in this rush to put out a mass of content for everyone to consume. Well, one of those things was not doing very well, and that was Jon Stewart's Apple TV show. Last year, it was reported that Jon Stewart's show, which was heavily pushing the things that Jon Stewart felt were problems, and we know who Jon Stewart is politically, we understand that. His show was not doing very well. In fact, last year it was reported that only an average of 40,000 people were tuning in to an episode of his show. That is miserably bad, even for a streaming service that doesn't have nearly the amount of subscribers as something like Netflix. And Jon Stewart decided that he would get very upset about that report. He went on a complete and total meltdown back, I guess, on Twitter before it got switched to X. I think most people still call it Twitter at this point. And he was like, well, guess what? We're going to do it even bigger in season two. This whole get woke, go broke narrative, that's just not reality. Just do what you want. Listen to your audience. He went on this tirade after everybody reported how bad his fucking ratings were. Well, now here we are a year later. It'll be interesting to see Jon Stewart's response because his miserable program, which he said, go woke, go broke, that doesn't matter. That doesn't mean anything. We're going to have a season two. Well, his program has been canceled at Apple TV. Apple TV Plus parts way with Jon Stewart and his basement-rated show. After only two seasons, Apple TV and the far-left former comedian Jon Stewart are parting ways. Although the problem with Jon Stewart could be produced for a fraction of something like Apple's The Morning Show, Stewart is still out the door. Stewart and some of his media enablers are saying it's creative differences. That's why things are coming to a close. Yeah, well, maybe creative differences is a not-so-creative way of saying nobody was watching this show. The problem the problem with Jon Stewart was the number one unscripted series on Apple TV Plus in October, a month after its debut. This is from a year and a half ago, basically. But ever since, it's proven no match for its broadcast and cable TV competition. The talk show had 180,000 homes tuned in its first week, but then went down by nearly 80%, 40,000 by its fifth episode. It's a pathetic failure, right? 40,000 people, even on a small streaming service, that's not going to be enough to get the job done. And so now Jon Stewart, after going on a tirade, after melting down and telling everybody, uh, go woke, go broke, that stuff's just bullshit. We're going to have a huge run here at Apple TV. Just you wait and see. All that's coming to an end. Weird how that works, isn't it? You might be able to get by on that for a little while, but eventually it becomes too big of a cost sink. It loses too much money. And Apple decided, sorry, John, we got to part ways. We got to cut the cord because nobody is watching your bullshit. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.